Добрый день. Сегодня у нас в гостях Гёше Майкл Роуч. Добро пожаловать в Москву. Welcome to Moscow. Oh, thank you very much. It's nice to be here. It's nice to talk with you uh, with this kind of interview. Uh, please tell us our viewers about diamond. What is this? Oh, in general, diamond uh, is the hardest thing in the universe. Uh, it can scratch any other thing. Uh, nothing can scratch a diamond. So in the ancient times, uh, diamond was used as a symbol for ultimate truth, ultimate reality. You uh, had a great experience in diamond business. I read uh, two of your books. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, what about Diamond Corporation, uh, which took about 15 years uh, from you? Yeah, we started a uh, business uh, with three people. And uh, we didn't have any money. We borrowed $50,000 from another person. And uh, we used this ancient wisdom uh, from Tibet uh, to do the business. Uh, we followed these rules of karmic seed. And then uh, we became the largest diamond jewelry company in the world. Uh, we reached uh, $250 million per year sales. And in 2009, we sold the company to Warren Buffett. Don't you miss about it? Uh, I really enjoy the diamond business, um, but after the company got very big, then a one book company asked me to write a story, how can other people use this karmic seed idea? And then I wrote a book called The Diamond Cutter, and many, many countries asked me to come there. So now every year I go to maybe 35 cities around the oh. world. And I enjoy that also. I meet a lot of new people like you. <laughs> and uh, I enjoy myself. And, Thank you. Uh, you launched Diamond Cutter Institute. Mm -hmm. Is it your business right now? Yeah, about nine years ago, uh, some friends and I, uh, we started a company to teach people how to do what I did uh, with my company. And so we go around the world. Uh, we teach about 20, 25,000 people a year. Tonight, uh, over 1,000 people will come here in Moscow and we'll be talking to them about how to use these ideas in your family relationships and in your business relationships. Actually, uh, about the Diamond Cutter book, I took some practice into my life also. <laughs> and it's really uh, make a kind of internal space. Mm -hmm. uh, it really helps, uh, I can say like that. Yeah. Uh, but um, is it your main idea current, I mean, to spread your knowledge, uh, your book, your internal knowledge, I mean, through the world? Yeah, I would like to see other people be successful. Uh, I have what I need. Uh, I, I was very successful. I guess uh, so. <laughs> oh, money just keeps coming. And uh, so I, I have the things that I need. I have a beautiful relationship. I have a nice home. Uh, I have peace here. I have a good meditation practice. And uh, I would like to share it with other people and, and see them be happy. Yeah. So can you compare Russian audience with another, I mean foreign audience mm -hmm. from other party? Uh, don't you see some um, problems? I mean, you started from Buddhist mm -hmm. side, mm -hmm. and here the Christian mm -hmm. people mostly, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, how it can survive together? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I uh, I actually grew up in a very Christian family, uh -huh. and uh, I was uh, I was a singer in the church for 12 years. After that, I was an altar boy. I, I served the priests for many years, and I really enjoy the church. I, I really like the Christian church. I really like Jesus' teachings. Uh, mm -hmm. I really enjoy them. I was supposed to be a priest. So you uh, accept it? Oh, yeah. And uh, I think it's very, very nice. And, and the, the ideas that I got from Tibet, uh, they helped me to understand Jesus, what he said. So I actually became better understanding of uh, Christianity by studying the things in Tibet. So I, I feel like there's no contradiction. I think it's very nice. Mm -hmm. And we can become uh, actually better Christian. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can understand better what Jesus is talking about. Because he's often talking about karma and karmic seeds, what you do to But in other way as you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's very similar. Uh, and, uh, um, it depends yeah, yeah. on the point of view. <laughs> yeah. If you study uh, deeply, then mm -hmm. uh, you get more and more appreciation for, for Jesus, what Jesus said. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I have a, I enjoy both. It's like uh, I enjoy vanilla ice cream and chocolate ice cream and 
Uh, Sometimes so I it's enjoy a, another taste, but the same uh, structure. Same ice cream. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it's very nice. And uh, if you live your life according to what Jesus said, and, and you understand it deeper, you, you'll be a happy person, successful. To be happy, it doesn't matter which religion you are in. I, I had a teacher, and he, he said a funny thing. He said, uh, here's uh, Christian, mm -hmm. here's Hindu, mm -hmm. here's Buddhist, mm -hmm. here's Muslim, mm -hmm. here's Jewish. They're all like this. Then he went like this, karate. <laughs> he, he said like this, above uh -huh. this line, everybody acting good uh -huh. in each religion. <laughs> Below this line, in each religion, someone acting bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so these people above the line, they are all being nice to other people. And the people below the line are being bad to other people. But it, these are all similar, very similar. Yeah. Let's talk about seeds. Uh, you wrote in your books that if you do something or have an idea of something, you already make this uh, seeds. seeds. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Every seeds can grow up, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it's like a rule, yeah. whole rule. You started with your seed with Institute, mm -hmm. with Diamond Cutter Institute. Mm -hmm. uh, what it will be after all? <laughs> <laughs> I like to talk about the seeds. Uh, we usually, my teacher taught me to use with a pen, mm -hmm. and uh, he, w he will ask us question. So uh, let's try. He will say, what is this thing? And what is this? We will say, oh, that teacher, this is a pen. Yeah, then, normally, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then he will say, if a dog comes here and I show to the dog, uh -huh. uh, what will they do? And we say, oh, teacher, they will bite the, this thing. Then he will ask us, does the dog see a pen? Mm -hmm. And we will say, no, teacher, dog sees uh, something to chew. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then he will ask us, who's correct, the dog or human? Then we will say, I don't know, both, it's okay. Your dog can chew, human can write. Then he will put it here. He'll say, if all the dogs go out and, and all the people go out, <laughs> then, then which one is it? Is it pen or is it a chew, something to chew? And then we say, we think about it and we say, well, when everybody's gone, it's, it's not neither one, just like something there, we don't know yet. Then he said, if the person come back inside, and they look at it, then what is it? Then we say, oh, it become a pen again. Then he asks us a very cool question. He say, uh, well, so does that come from you, mind, or it comes from the pen? Then we think, well, I came in, I look at, it became pen. It must come from me, you know? Then he explained, uh, there's a seed in your mind. Uh, uh, and so it's a point of view. Uh, well, no. when the seed opens, uh -huh. In my mind, uh -huh. when I come in and I, uh -huh. I look, small seed opens in my uh -huh. mind. Small uh -huh. picture comes out, pen, picture, uh -huh. comes into my mind, and then I see pen. Uh -huh. And the dog also has a seed for something to chew. Uh -huh. And when they look at the same thing, uh -huh. seed open in their mind. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then he said, you have to start a business. Uh -huh. Then I said, I don't <laughs> want to start a business. <laughs> then he said, no, I'm telling you, uh -huh. I'm your teacher. You have okay. to do what I say. You start a business. Then I said, why? Uh -huh. He said, you can make a seed for money. Okay. You can make seed for business. Yeah. You just have to learn how to do. Seeds does people seeding? <laughs> uh, they say uh, 65 per second. 65 per so, second. So a good video oh, yeah. has a 24 frames per second. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the video called Your Life, it has a 65 opening each, each second. So it can have smell, taste, uh, hearing. Every uh, senses. Yeah, comes from 65 open every uh, second. Then if you plant one, uh, it will double every day. So I, my company, we double sales every 18 months mm. for 19 years. Uh, we double every 18 months because uh, seeds double. So the question, how you can do it? <laughs> yeah, 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 it's cool. There are four steps, okay? And these are very old. These are uh, 1,700 years ago. First step, decide what do you want. 
Some people say, I want to be financial independent. I want to go anywhere. I want to do anything. Uh, I want to have buy a house, buy a car, anything. I want this. Some people say, no, no, I want a good family. I, I want a nice husband. I want a nice wife. You know, some people say, no, no, I want to have good health. You know, I want to be young. You know, and then some people say, no, no, I want here. I want peace. You know, and money is okay, but here is more difficult. Then some people say, no, my vision is very big. I want to help the whole world. You know, so these are number one. You have to decide what do you want, and number two. You must find another person who wants the same thing. So uh -huh. if, if, if you so. want financial independence, you must find another person. You cannot plant karma by yourself. Not possible. Uh, you must find someone who wants the same thing. Number three, one hour every week, we say go to coffee shop, help them to make their money, help them to make their business you know, mm -hmm. for your, free. Your partner. Yeah, uh -huh. karma partner. Karma partner. Uh, okay. <laughs> need, number three, you need this karma partner. And then once a week, you meet them, just have coffee, relax, talk to them about their business. They will tell you, I have this problem, this problem, and then help them for free. Yes, uh, for one hour every week. And then uh, that will create a karma seed in your mind. Then you have all this karma seed for money. But we can see many people help other people. They don't get rich. Yeah, yeah. We see many bad people get rich. <laughs> then what's a, what's the so the, what is going on? Then the seed takes a long time to open. It can take hundred years to open. So step number four <laughs> is that there's a special meditation uh, to make the seed go fast. So to, to grow in it, you need yeah. meditation. Yeah, you need this meditation, and it's a very nice meditation when you get home. Uh, from the coffee shop, you're going to bed. Then you just relax on your bed and you think about, oh, this today for one hour I helped my friend with his business. You know, I did a good thing. When you think I did a good thing, uh, this makes the seed explode. And it's very interesting. It's a very cool meditation. This famous newspaper, New York Times, they, they interview me. They say, what's the What's the secret to make the fastest growing business in the history of New York? Mm. Then I said, this one. <laughs> you know? Good feeling. Uh, yeah, feel good that you are doing something to help another person. And, and it's very powerful. The idea is how to Mm, how to make it uh, much more efficiently. You told us, so you simply do like one, two, yeah, three, yeah, four, yeah, yeah. and yeah. that's clear. That's yeah. really enough for all what you uh, have an yeah. idea. I mean, for yeah. growing up. But you know, the idea of Lotus, it will float in, in the really dirty space. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. If we are living in this kind of uh, stressful life, yeah. how it can be growing? Is it a kind of one of seed which can be Appear. Yeah, they say uh, this is a very good example because in the ancient Buddhism, the lotus is a very famous example because uh, if you put the lotus in a clean place, it will not grow. Yeah. Uh, and the first time I saw a lotus, it was in the sewer system mm -hmm. in India. Mm -hmm. The whole one kilometer smell bad, and the beautiful lotuses are growing, you know. And my teacher was. Uh, Oh, life is like that, you know. If you have this four-step system, then you have to find a place where there's trouble. Mm -hmm. uh, you cannot plant a seed with another rich person. You must find a person who has trouble, you yeah. know. Yeah. Uh, then when you help them, you can hear yourself talk. You can hear yourself thinking. Uh, you see your hands move to give them something. And this makes an impression on your mind and this becomes a seed. So actually, to do this system, you must find the problem places. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, you can make karma. You cannot make karma in a good situation.